So you're using ketoconazole for hair loss or you're thinking about using it, why don't you use this instead? Hi, my name is William Gonitz. I'm the CEO and founder of Evolution Hair Loss Institute. I've seen people use ketoconazole for almost the entire duration of my practice. There have actually been multiple clinical studies done that support the use of ketoconazole shampoo, specifically the 2% prescription version, to enhance hair growth. And there are two different strengths, either 1%, which is over the counter, or 2%, which is by prescription. And it is specifically an ingredient that is antifungal. The the hypothesis about why it supports hair growth is that maybe it disrupts the DHT pathway to binding to the hair follicle receptor. However, it is an antifungal, and the vast majority of the people that I see use it for extended periods of time end up seeing an overactive yeast because they've been using an anti-yeast shampoo for a really long period of time, and the yeast that exists on their scalp have now become resistant to the ketoconazole, and ultimately then creating sort of a super yeast, which then ends up creating inflammation and causing hair loss again. Now, my opinion is that ketoconazole should only be used for its primary purpose which is to reduce the inflammation caused by excessive amounts of yeast and fungus on the scalp. So to me, what you should be using instead is a shampoo with tea tree oil, rosemary oil, and other essential oils. And the reason for that is that you can enhance your hair growth by eliminating the volume of yeast on the surface of the scalp, but you can also use these same oils to help decrease parasites like Demodex, as well as supporting its long-term use by supporting your own scalp microbiome. I find that using tea tree oil and rosemary oil are substantially less dramatic on this sort of rebound effect that people have when they come off of it. And you can use it for these long periods of time because it is a more healthful solution ultimately. And that is my choice. That's what I use. As well as you can use additional items in the form of scalp serums with tea tree oil, like tea tree oil up to 5%, rosemary oil up to 1%. And there's other things like sage and lavender and ylang that can be used in these topicals and in the shampoos to do a better job, in my opinion, than ketoconazole. If you've got questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and I'm happy to help in any way.